How are you guys doing? Welcome back to a, another video. So it's been, I don't know, forever how many months. It's felt like a while now, but I am so very happy to be back. And yeah, I won't lie with you guys. I actually wasn't even planning. I was inches away from not even touching this game, or I wasn't intending on buying the game, at least until maybe Christmas time. Um, you know, and maybe just play here and there casually, but you know, I'm very happy I did buy the game. Um, I don't know what it was. It's just something kind of triggered in the back of my mind but yeah I'm very happy to be back and you know for most people it's kind of your the cliche thing not only with FIFA I guess but with sports games in general you know people always saying that the game is always the same every year but I feel like this year it's a bit different uh, there is just something about it I think the gameplay feels drastically different than it ever has been with the mechanics and also just the structure in general so for me it just feels very refreshing and it does genuinely feel like a brand new game so uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun so far. Still getting used to the game, of course, but yes, I, I definitely think the game feels feels pretty good. So, um, yeah, we have Sammy Algebar, the foot hero. I don't actually remember if he was in the game last year. I want to say yes. If so, I, I just don't remember because, I mean, I feel like he wasn't too relevant, especially with how chemistry was last year. Saudi Arabia. Now, the thing I do like about the hero system this year is as long as they're in their proper position they will be guaranteed to be on full chemistry so the usability factor for these cards are much you know at a, the highest they can be and I think the heroes this year are just going to be more desirable in general uh, they've added so many um, which I, I'm, I'm very excited to to uh, try out so yeah Sammy Algebra after using them and even just looking at his stats the face of it the in games there's nothing really that you would think he excels at nothing that really stands out but at this stage of the game I think he's a very well-rounded attacker now what you're getting is you know not not someone who's necessarily rapid or uh, physically dominant or really good when it comes to technical play linking up the play um, but you know he's going to be able to score your goals get in these positions and he's quite clinical and very good at finding the corners consistently, which I think is really important for your striker this year. Uh, you can really feel those shooting, st uh, the high shooting stats on those top end strikers this year uh, over anything else. I, I really feel that. So uh, at this stage of the game, you know, I think he does the job. And for 60K, it's not, you know, not too bad. But uh, realistically, he'll probably do the job, I'd say maybe two to three months until he probably begins to fall. Uh, behind the power curve a little bit so yeah algebra i guess we would start with the pace so he's got 89 acceleration and 87 sprint speed so you can see in a lot of instances right where he's kind of he kind of breaks through the defense he feels quick he's not rapid necessarily uh, he doesn't have that breakaway speed and for me what i've noticed so far just from playing a bit is that i feel like pace isn't necessarily you know extremely noticeable unless you're using those really high-end paced players. So your Vinicius Juniors, you know, you'll really feel that explosiveness. I mean, it also has to do, I think, with the, there's like, what what did they add? Like that running, running style? I don't know. There's like controlled, explosive, you know. So that definitely, I think he has controlled Algebra. So, you know, he's not, you're not going to feel that explosiveness is what I'm saying. But he feels fairly quick uh, to the point where he can kind of cause problems in behind. Uh, but I think the thing that makes him most dangerous is his movement in behind his positioning uh, he's got that 88 attack positioning and, and you can see he's very good at splitting that defense making those runs in behind and it just allows him he puts himself into a proper position uh, to get into you know to to score uh, and then you look at the shooting right so he's got 90 finishing 87 shot power which is great he's a very good goal scorer I've already mentioned that um, and here's you know a really good example of the pace you can see he's quick. I mean, the, the defenders are kind of closing in on him, but he's able to get the finish off. You can see pace, I'd say, decent. Definitely something maybe, though, you can fix with a chemistry style. But yeah, the shooting, he's very good. And I like the new mechanic with the, for Xbox, is both bumpers and B, where they kind of power up. And, you know, it's it's really powerful shot. But yeah, I, uh, I, I think this guy's a very well-rounded goal scorer, and he can do it on both sides, you know, right or left-footed. Even though he only has three-star weak foot, it does feel like uh, a four-star in-game. Uh, also, the 89 volleys, 84 penalties, which, you know, is good. So, yeah, very, very good, well-rounded goal scorer, very clinical. Uh, you have the passing, which, you know, is, is very average. I didn't 
really do too much when it came to that. You know, the 78 short pass, 71 long pass, 75 vision. Uh, maybe boosting that isn't too too bad of an idea. Uh, and then you have the dribbling. So again, it's kind of like pace. I feel like it's one of those areas where you don't really feel that, you know, that great of dribbling unless you're using your high-end cards like your Neymars, your Messi's, you know. And they definitely reduce, they definitely nerf that, that dribbling in the game. So, um, you know, the, the dynamic ability is not necessarily going to be there for a card like this, but I feel like he has just enough to kind of maneuver and create that half a chance, which is all you really, really need. And he has the two most important stats I think that are most important for a number nine in this game, which is 88 reactions and 88 composure. So, yeah, I think at this stage of the game, I emphasize that. He's a very good option for, you know, decent price. And, you know, it's just a, it's a cool card to use, I feel like. So, um, yeah, I feel like he's he's a really good player. And I would definitely recommend, you know, trying him out. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be my video. Please like, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching.